हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिसन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 94 मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जेएस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इंप्लीमेंट रेजर पे पेमेंट गेटवे राइट व्हेन वी चेंज आवर करेंसी फ्रॉम यूएसडी टू आईएनआर सो फॉर द आईएनआर करेंसी वी विल इंप्लीमेंट दिस रेजर पे राइट सो लेट्स इंप्लीमेंट दिस सो वी विल डू दिस थिंग इन अ थ्री स्टेप्स First of all, we will install the packages which required for Python and React.js. Second, we will generate the order ID which is required for making payment. And the third one is when we success in the payment, then we will capture the payment ID redirect to the success or failure page. If you want to know more about the Razor Pay, then please you can go to the uh, Razor Pay official documentation like. I'm going to show you Razor Pay Docs. Okay, so they are providing very, you know, very smooth way for beginner and advanced for both. So you can see the documentation, web integration, and then providing for various technologies, right? And uh, before this, we also need a, a payment gateway. Uh, we also need an account on this payment gateway. So I have already set up the account. So you just need your email ID or whatever they require. So you just set up your account and uh, go to the test mode and on the test mode. So when you're done with the test mode, then you can go to live, right? So I suppose you have an account, you set up the account, then we will proceed from, uh, we will proceed these tasks, right? So set up the account, that's the first one. And then we will start these tasks, right? So let's start the first one, then uh, we will do the second, okay? Okay, so for the first one, we need to install the package, which is Razor Pay, pip install Razor Pay. And uh, we will do that, okay? So pip install, Razor Pay. Okay, so it's already I have already installed that, and then the second one is you need to install the second one package is uh, npm install React Razor Pay, right? So the second package is in your uh, project uh, in your front end uh, in your front end folder. You will do uh, pip install react razor pay right so if i say here npm react razor pay then this one is the <coughs> this one is so npm install react razor pay right so this is the first thing that we need to require okay so let's go to react razor pay here in the so let's see here so first of all we need this one if we need to import this so let's import this so we have done the first step now we are going to do we are going to uh, implement this uh, razor pay on our confirm order right because when we click here okay so in when we go to the new my cart and then we proceed then we are coming here right so when we click on this and when we click on this then it should open the pop-up for the result okay so this is confirm order page now what we are going to do we will do this implementation okay so let's start to implement this and we will see that how we will achieve the success okay so after installing the package we will copy this in our confirm order let's paste here okay so we already have this one we already have this one right and then let me little bit okay so now 
the second thing is we need to copy this one constant we already have this one also okay and this one is important so and one more thing when we click on this next let me show you uh, change method razor pay here change method input radio and this is the form so let me show you okay so when we change the method then all right so this is uh, stripe this is razor pay razor pay payment form we don't need this form actually okay when we click on this pay now button right so this is pay now payment method so when we we will check here if the payment method equal equal to razor pay right what value we are passing razor pay right so if the payment method is razor pay then we will initiate handle razor pay razor payment razor pay handler razor pay handler right so we will initiate this function let's copy this function and create here right so console hello okay so we will do this let's check this so here console next so it's saying hello okay so this handler is working now so let's come back to this here so we will copy this right now this one this create order we need to understand this this function is not created by us but this is saying we need to create order let's first of all check the documentation built integration so what it is saying create an order in server we have to create an order on the razor pay server and that will give us a order id and other details uh, in a response right and we will use that order id it it will an order should be created for every payment right uh, with the help of and the order id received in source should be passed to the checkout right so this ties the order with the payment success for the request being tampered so we need this order id and we can receive this order id from the order api right so what we need to do first we need to run this one this thing we need to run this thing and this will give us the order id right so what we will do here we will say mm, create razor pay order and params we need right so we need create razor pay order and uh, actually when we are running this we can simply hit this excuse right and here we will say create razor pay order and we will pass our order id right and here we will say we will do this we will check this uh, success and catch response later but first of all we need to hit this url right and in this url we will send we will send the let's see request parameters so amount currency receipt 
amount and currency is mandatory right amount is mandatory currency is also receipt is also receipt is a uh, you can say for our reference for the server reference right so in this we need to send razor pay data let's create razor pay data so where razor pay data equal to new form data right and then razor razor pay data dot append append the first one is amount and the amount is order amount into 100 right so if you if you want to send let's say let's suppose 500 then you have to uh, multiply with the 100 because we need to send in pesa so 1 rupee equal to 100 pesa so we are sending this right and if you have 500.00 then you have to uh, multiply with 100 again because this will a decimal 100 right so all the values here in we have so we'll say 100 <clears throat> say 100 and then 100 into 100 because normal values here we have in a flow so that i am implementing this right then razor pay dot append order id i will send this as a receipt so i will say here order id because we have already a order id because when we come to this page then we are already creating the order id in our database here right so this is our internal order id so i am sending this with the as a receipt so razor pay data response let's let's console the response okay let's comment this window and also console the error okay so we have this thing now we need to create this url so copy this one and copy this pk means order id and then we will create a functional view right so we'll say create razor pay order all right and then we have here definition request pk and then CSRF exempt, right? And here we will say if request dot is Ajax, then we will print here request dot post. All right. So we connected this URL with this view okay now let's see so if i click here and if i go to network then what it is saying let's see you call this but the url doesn't end slash all right so we need to end slash okay all right then we have click here 500 again okay there is a Okay, 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 we are sending from the another platform, so we, we don't need to apply the is Ajax. Sorry, all right, so let's remove this 500. Okay, so we need to check the response here. Uh, okay, so here you can see. 
actually we are not returning anything so that it is saying uh, the so amount is this and order id id is this so 160 rupees it will so this pesa something okay this is correct i think and order id uh, id is this okay now we need to implement so we will implement here this one the server code remember this is client code we will implement this later first of all we need to generate the id so first of all we need to import razor pay so i will go to top here and then this is a stream work so here so import razor pay and then we have this thing client all right and let's move this no need this and this should be response equal to this so i must say if response then message equal to boolean true data equal to response right else sorry copy else this is false no need to pass any data all right and then we will return json response message correct and uh, because this is python so we will do false and here we will do int request dot post dot get amount and then we have here receipt so it, it should be order id no need for this int type no need for the notes okay now we need uh, your order and your secret right so uh, from your account you can fill your secret and your id let me do this account setting api keys regenerate deactivate old key confirm so i will copy this one please don't use this because this is my these are mine please use use your own all right so, okay okay all right so this is great now confirm order and uh, let's implement another code okay we will do that later but let's see the response so when we hit this this url will go here and it will create create the client so this is order id actually we don't need this i think because we are passing the order id from the form so we don't need this here so no need here great okay so let's check the check the response next all right so boolean true and order id is generated here you can see that right now we we will implement this code right so let's implement this one where is that okay so for this one uh, when response is if response dot data dot boolean equal equal to true right 
so here is that here you can see that response dot data dot boolean equal equal to true then we will implement this functionality so i'll copy all of this right and paste here so these are the options so this is the key here you need to fill okay and then from the data from the data you need to pass here the order id response dot data dot data dot this data is by default from the axios and this is our name our key right so data dot id okay and currency is inr amount will be this amount let's define the amount here let's say where order amount equal to this all right so define here the order amount order amount is this all right and name of the product will be confirm order so do we have product data mm -hmm. actually hmm, we have only the order id so let's say order name should name let's say order order id description we will see that later but let's uh, order data dot id one minute console yes this data data dot yes this is correct fine so this is uh, in a handler what we will do we will move this success uh, here right so in a handler payment success then we will go to uh, success page so we will change that later we will change this later right okay now we have everything Mm, let's define the logo let's say code artisan lab <coughs> test transaction oh. is not defined it should be key I think let's say don't need this prefill uh, don't need this notes correct and uh, these are the error codes let's keep it as it is and uh, if this error code let's go here uh, not here actually let's go here mm, let's define the let's say failure and let's comment this correct we will see that how we will handle the error okay and uh, in the console we will also see this is actually okay this is failure also so here yeah. correct so let's test now so we'll go to home page python add to cart my cart proceed then this one then this one 
Oops, something went wrong. Where is went wrong? Let's handle this. Okay. Hmm. Home. This. Add to cart. My cart. Proceed. Razor pay. Next. Let's go to network. And here. So invalid literal for int with the base 10. Five to eight. Get amount. So actually, amount is not defined. Let's see where the amount is not defined. Where? Oh, oh. This is same order amount. This is same order amount. Hmm. Let's say order amount correct. Now it should work. Let's see. Okay, so Acme Corp and uh, this is okay. So we need to enter all this information, right? So Let's say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Proceed and a valid phone number. So let's add a number ten digit. Okay, and this card number, any testing card number, any future card holder ABC. All right, and then this is actually sixteen thousand, but it should be one sixty. Okay, we will see that. Then how to handle amount? So pay now. Pay without saving. Any OTP. Submit. Okay, redirecting three, two, one. So, thanks for the order. And if I go to my order, three orders, and all our status spending. Okay, we need to also, we also need to update the status. So, handler function, we will say update order status true correct so update order status equal to true hmm. correct okay so now let's try one more time and uh, let's remove all the orders all the previous orders okay now let's go to let's set the amount here one more thing so it will not uh, the multiply by only multiply by 100 not 100 by 100 <clears throat> okay so testing job this one and then we have my card proceed razor pay next so 160 okay and then we have uh, pay now let's say card card number 524 ABC one two three save card pay now two three four five six
verify mobile skip saving card so 1 2 3 4 5 6 submit something went wrong what happened hmm. this that update order status actually when we update the order status is it trying to redirect on here when we run the function actually we don't need to run this one we just run this function and it will automatically run that okay so let's go home let's try now a new one this pay this one window what happened okay i'm going to refresh this page let's go to home let's try with the new testing all right so we'll go to here then my card proceed okay this is working let's see this one card number expiry one two three uh, qwer pay now not being this submit okay thanks for the order great so if i go here and here so order succeeded correct and if I go to dashboard, order four, one is HD number is succeeded, right? So everything runs smooth. So we have implemented. So if you go to USD and if you go to home, so if I go to add here, my card proceed. Then if I go to PayPal, then it will show the PayPal. We are not going to use the Stripe. So I'm going to remove that. So let me remove this stripe. Maybe in our next project, we can apply. Right. So here and in the PayPal, you can proceed. We have already implemented this. So if I go to INR, Razor Pay, next, then it will open the Razor Pay. Correct so we have order id we have everything so we have succeeded so in our next video we will do something else right we will actually we have completed all the things almost all the things and if uh, anything is pending then i will see and i will make my last video and i will see that what is pending and i will make the last video and then we will uh, work on other projects right so thank you so much for watching the video please share subscribe like this channel and uh, if you need the source code of this project then what you need to do you need to go to github.com slash code artisan lab right and uh, 
here i have a public repository multi vendor e commerce so follow the steps and uh, pay this amount right and i will provide the access of this source code correct so this is very big support for me so please support me right thank you so much and uh, let's meet in the next video